the automated waste segregator. This is the video demonstration of the basic construction and working of the automated waste segregator. It is a novel concept for segregation in urban households to reduce the existing pressure on waste management in municipalities. The main components used in the segregator are the inductive sensing system, the capacitive sensing system, IR sensor modules and DC motors. The segregator employs TI's low power MSP430 microcontroller for its operation. We now move on to the construction of the segregator. The top of the segregator has an inclined flap for the waste to drop down. An IR sensor indicates the arrival of waste. The second stage is the wooden incline which houses the LDC-1000 and the inductive coil. This system is used for the detection of metallic waste. From there, we move on to the capacitive sensing system to distinguish between biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. On the identification of the origin of waste, the circular panel rotates so that the appropriate bin comes to rest under the capacitive sensors. The capacitive sensing system also has a collapsible base so that waste falls down to the appropriate bin. The rotation of the circular panel and the collapsible base is controlled by DC motors and IR sensor modules. The following section gives an overview of the TI components used in the system. Several TI ICs have been used to implement the segregator. TI's MSP430 G2553 version 5 low cost ultra low power microcontroller has been used to implement the segregator. Two types of dual SPDT analog switch ICs have been used. They are TS3A24157 and TS5A23159. Motor driver IC DRV8839 is a dual half H bridge motor driver used to drive the DC motors. Finally, we have the LDC1000 for inductive sensing which has an advantage in terms of high resolution in short ranges. Here's a diagram of the structure. Inductive sensing using LDC1000. As we can see in the figure, the proximity data is around 4F and a threshold of 0A is given. Once the plate is got close to the inductor, an interrupt is generated which can be seen that the proximity data goes above 0A than the average value. Capacitive sensing using MSP430 As we can see that once the object is dropped there is a change in capacitance which is detected. Here the base count value can be seen in the figure and there is a the delta count about to 7 and hence a dielectric is detected. And garbage type is set to 2, k value is within 20. When a plastic object has been dropped, the MSP430 takes many samples of the capacitance value. Having realized that no capacitance changed has been detected, as it can be seen, K is over 20 samples and the delta count is 0. Thus, the garbage type has been set to 1. Rotating panel with IR sensors. Here, a DC motor is used to rotate the bins such that they arrive at the correct position. The IR sensor is used to stop the motor once the bin arrives at its respective position. As it can be seen, once the IR sensor detects the right position, the bin is stopped. Flap Mechanism A DC motor is used to control the flap. Enough time is provided for the garbage to fall down and then the flap is brought back up to its position.
PCB etching. This is the making of a PCB. We are etching it in FECL3. The top layer, the bottom layer, the PCB with IC soldered on it. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you.